I'll show you some uses for the color balance adjustment. Although I'm demonstrating this in Affinity Photo, do be aware that you can use this adjustment in Designer and Publisher as well. I have a 3D render here which has some strong red and yellow tones that I may want to reduce, which the color balance adjustment is ideal for. So I'll go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Color Balance. On the dialog, there is a drop down that allows you to target a specific tonal range shadows, midtones, or highlights. Then there is a set of three sliders that allow you to shift color balance based on complementary color pairs. I may want to decrease the bias of red color tones in this image. Staying on the midtones for now, I'll move the cyan and red slider all the way to the left, which does remove some intensity from the red tones. And I may also want to remove the strong yellow bias as well. So I can move the yellow and blue slider to the right. Going all the way with this slider perhaps adds too much blue to the areas down here. So I'll move it back slightly to around 60%. I'll now move to the shadows tonal range and I'll bring the cyan and red slider slightly to the left. Now, if I hide the color balance adjustment layer, I can quickly compare the before and the after. So this adjustment clearly provides a quick and intuitive way to correct color casts or imbalances. I'll show you another example where the preserve luminosity option would be useful. Here, I have a similar issue where the red tones are quite strong. So once again, I can add a color balance adjustment. And we're already on the shadows here, so I can bring the cyan and red slider to the left slightly, and bring the yellow and blue slider to the right quite far, maybe to around 50%. Then I'll switch across to the highlights, and I'll bring the cyan and red slider to the right, and move the yellow and blue slider to the left. Now, by modifying the color balance, we have also changed the intensity of the color tones, which has modified the apparent brightness of the image as well. Checking preserve luminosity will prevent this from occurring by lightening or darkening the tones so that the apparent brightness is maintained. Doing so with this image produces a pleasing look with less contrast, particularly here where it reduces the overall intensity of the background sun. You can also combine the color balance adjustment with blend modes to expand its usefulness. I might reset the adjustment back to its default values, then experiment with soft light, for example. On highlights, I'll move yellow and blue all the way to the right. Then on shadows, I'll move the cyan and red slider all the way to the left, and move the yellow and blue slider all the way to the right. I might also bring the magenta and green slider to the right, which affects the darker tones at the bottom of the image where the sunflowers are. Then finally, on midtones, I'll bring the yellow and blue slider to the right. So hiding this layer and showing it again reveals quite a strong transformation of tones when this adjustment is combined with a blend mode. I could also reduce the layer opacity then cycle through the blend modes to quickly experiment with different results. The light and blend mode produces an interesting effect with reduced contrast, for example. Or, hard light can produce a result with some harsher contrast compared to soft light. Do be sure to experiment further to find your own workflows with this adjustment. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.